What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back. Today's video is brought to you guys by iMyPhone. Now, this is known as their software called UMate Pro, and it is the ultimate iPhone data eraser. You can actually erase iOS with 0% recovery, believing that you actually cannot bring anything back. It's a 100% wipe of all third party applications such as WhatsApp, WeChat, Kick, Viber, and 10 plus more. You can also secure all your private data when recycling or selling or even donating your iPhone. This is fully compatible with iOS 11, the new iPhone X, iPhone 8, and of course, most previous generation Apple products. So as you guys can see right here, um, all it does is scan your phone afterwards. It will preview all the data that you're erasing just in case, you know, there's some precious photos in there or something of that sort that you really don't want to get rid of at that particular time. And afterwards, simply click another button and you are set to go in terms of erasing this. Now, keep in mind that you can go and try this as well in case you don't want to buy it right away. Now, there are four different options that you can actually choose from. One is to erase the deleted files. The other one is to erase your private data, erase all data, or erase private fragments. Now, as you can see, to secure privacy, this iPhone data eraser will shred some sensitive data as if it never existed. You know, things like your messages, call logs, and photos and videos, and maybe even chats within your applications. There's another option to erase your deleted files. So let's say you actually went and already deleted your messages and photos and things you sent that you want don't want everyone else to see. Well, well, of course, this will actually go and delete those and shred those to the point where they aren't recoverable. There's also a way to just delete everything at once. This is, of course, a normal factory reset, but to another level. This is the iMyPhone standard of erasing data, and it is unrecoverable. Now, right after that, you can actually erase all the private fragments. So third party apps, you know, store some useless things on your phone. That's why you always get that notification saying storage is now full or clean up your iPhone or delete some apps or something of that sort. When in reality, it's things like Facebook and Instagram and Snapchat that are just saving random bunches of information on your phone that you really don't need. So this is probably the ultimate way to go ahead and get rid of all that. So what, of course, what does the application look like? Well, as you can see, this is exactly what it looks like. It's very simplistic and modern and overall easy to use. As you can see, you can free up space using uh, you know particular options for example in this case you have junk files temporary files photos large files and of course your applications now if you want to just refresh hit quick scan and it will go ahead and scan your device in this case it'll take, take approximately five minutes but i'm sure it won't actually take that long so it took around 17 seconds. As you can see, more space can be freed up. There's junk files, so around 32 megabytes worth of junk files right here. You know what, I'm just gonna go ahead and clean them. But before you do, it will show you exactly what those junk files are. It doesn't just delete random stuff, it gives you everything that you're deleting very clearly in case you know you do delete something that you do want in this case there's itunes cache there's also photo cache and crash logs now all this stuff is pretty much useful useless so i'm gonna go ahead and clear that right up next off of course there are my temporary files most of these are internet files you know things like history and all that so we're gonna hit clean and just like that it is gonna go and clean that right up all right, so next off, you can also go ahead and delete some photos. You can also delete your large files and applications directly from within this application. So let's say we were to go ahead and hit apps. Let's see what apps we have on here. So we got everything from Amazon Alexa to auto list to Twitter. It's a cool way to see which applications are taking up the most amount of space. As you can see, OneNote is actually taking up 302 megabytes. So I'd simply hit check right here. I do love OneNote actually, so I'm not gonna delete that. But all I'd have to do is hit remove and it would go ahead and delete not only the application, but all the data that comes with it. How cool is that? Now, all that is very, very easy, but there's a way to erase all data as well. So let's say we want to get rid of all the data on this device. All we would do is hit erase, but you do have to delete find or disable find my iPhone on your device before you do. Unfortunately, I don't actually want to delete all the information on my device at this time, so I'm not going to, but I will show you that this is a feature that does exist. It does really quickly, and it is very, very convenient because you can do it directly from your computer in case something's wrong with your device or anything of those sorts. You can also erase your deleted files. So let's go Go ahead and scan for some of those because these are actually files that we already deleted but the fragments of those are still left on our device you actually have to go and fill those up with zeros and ones before you can go and have a full-on delete all right in this case we're actually getting an error i'm actually going to go and try this again scan Actually, I think the issue is that I actually have already used software on this device to get rid of any fragments of data that, you know, already has been deleted. So in this case, there's literally nothing left on my device that I've deleted and any fragments were already gone. So that's the reason that I can't seem to find anything in this case. You can also erase your private data. So as you can see, erase private data securely and don't worry about security breaches. So we'll go ahead and scan again. 
And the last option, is, of course, is to erase incomplete private fragments. So the most complete and in-depth way to ensure that third-party applications don't leave behind a trace. So once again, simply hit scan and it's the same process as the one click. It'll simply show you what's left. All in all, guys, it's an awesome way to go ahead and make sure that your device is secure, private, and just the way you want it with all the information taking up useless space gone forever. So all in all, guys, make sure you do actually have the latest version of iTunes. I'm actually doing that right now. So the software works 100% of the time. Overall, that's about it. I give it a nice solid 9 out of 10. Go ahead and check it out with the link below. Thank you guys for watching. This is going to be me logging off.